Tom are leading by three frames to one. Yeah, this young man at the table in tremendous form this afternoon. James Watana. The pride of Thailand. Wow. And Bradford John as well, where he lives. Sixteen. A little bit of a stretch this time, but he still should manage the black. And developed another few reds there. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. But uh, this one's gone a little bit astray. Thirty-two. Better if we'd placed it there by hand. There's no way of knowing exactly where the cue ball's going with a shot like that, but 56. that one worked out absolutely perfectly. 57. And there's no stopping this young man this afternoon. He's in tremendous form. 64. 65. Don't like saying it, but you can see it on your screen there. Nine 72. reds, nine blacks. And there's a prize 73. of 25,000 pounds should any player make a maximum break. to say any more and just let him get on with it. 80. Yes, I'm with you, Dennis. 81. It's, it's what we've come to call the kiss of death from the commentary box. As soon as we start talking about these things, the player misses an easy shot, so... We'll shut up and let you watch. 88. 89. 96. 
97. One hundred and five. One hundred and twelve. One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty-seven. Well, a piece of snooker history there. A break of one hundred and forty-seven from James Watterner. That will collect twenty-five thousand pounds for him. And just look at Tony Drago there, John Pullman. That was fantastic. Tony went out and threw his arms around James Watterner. Absolutely brilliant. I know you've commentated on a maximum before. It's my first time, and I'm over the moon as well, Tom. A wonderful break, but this had an added poignancy. His father.